Hello, this is Paul John Patton, Starboard Passage Performance Coaching. I'm going to talk briefly today about basic sailing and perhaps a couple of quick tips that I hope you might find interesting. I teach my students from the ages of six or seven to those maybe in their 80s. And if you're new to sailing, I can bet that one of the first conversations you have while leaving the dock in a sailboat is a lesson having to do with the rudder and the mainsail. I'm going to talk to you about the rudder today. Most of you would say the rudder is what makes the boat turn. I'm going to parse words a bit here, but my point is that sailing can be a pretty complicated. And I should know that because I can do that as well as anyone. But my mission here today is to use the KISS method of teaching, and that is keep it simple, silly. So please don't get me wrong, the rudder does turn the boat. You should push it one way. Should you push it one way and the boat goes another, I learned to sail that way myself, and most I would say probably teach to that effect. But I am here to tell you that if you get into a boat, face backwards, glance back at that rudder trying to decide which way the boat turns, right or left, you're going to need to unlearn a few things before you begin to master sailing. Sailing is so much like life about balance. Balance the helm, which is which way the rudder or the tiller, which is attached to the rudder, pulls, which is the rudder's propensity to pull one way or the other, is probably explained. And you let the boat go, as I'd like to say. When the boat is balanced, it goes in a straight line, as fast and as maneuverable and as safe as it can be. And therein lies the moral of the story. If you want to accelerate learning, learning how to sail, you need to get the balance right.